we are both upon an ocean with our sail upon the map. Heidi ho YouTubers. Can you see me alright? It's starting to get dark outside. We have a lot of Amish community near where we live and some of them have stores out like in the barn kind of thing. So we went shopping today and made some hella deals. I thought I'd show you some of what we got. Let's see. We'll start with this because this is like a big time deal. Maxwell House. Regular roast. Oh, we used to call them two pounders. I don't know if you can see that. Five bucks. Got four of them. Cleaned out the shelf. Got a free calendar. Old Farmer's Almanac calendar. Planning guide by the moon on the back here. Domestic animal gestation and mating table. 2012. Okay, for free. Um, they buy their uh, spices in bulk, these Amish stores, and then they put them in these little containers, and we bought a whole bunch because they were cheap. Uh, this one's whole rosemary leaves, um, 20, 18 cents, 18 cents. Whole thing of bay leaves, 72 cents. Here's some uh, more rosemary, 18 cents. More rosemary. Chili powder. This one's $1.14. That'll spice things up. Got this little bag of whole sage, $1.75. More whole sage. This is uh, only 35 cents though. Full time, 83 cents. More rosemary. Jeez, she must have gone crazy on that. Caraway seeds, 66 cents. Full time, 83 cents. Apple pie spice, $1.15. Here's some uh, cardamom, $1.27 for that one. Pretty good buys. Let's see, what do we get here? We got a big package of sewing needles for 89 cents. A couple of tubes of Neosporin for the medical supplies. Those are $1.95 a piece. Pencils. They won't run out of ink. And they don't have to have electricity. 75 cents for a package. Well, this was a good buy. We bought, I think we got two tubes, Burt's Bees sunscreen, SPF 30, and they were a dollar or two. Corn muffin mix. All it takes is eggs and milk, and yeah, I got that out in the yard. 25 cents a box. cornstarch a buck for a box hey it's a box apple cider tea a box for a dollar I think Mrs. Go Hall got that one the sun's starting to go down and shine in my eye sorry enchilada sauce Swedish meatballs mix well anything you can do to add to, you know spice up your food from your preps. These were a quarter a piece, so can't beat it. Hamburger dill pickles. About four jars at a dollar a piece. 
Some pretty good buys, I think, don't you? Here's another one. Uh, I don't know, we'll call this rice mix, rice aroni. Long grain and wild rice. They were uh, 30 cents a box. And then, all this stuff is still in date, too. That's what got me. There's the corners of the boxes are a little crumpled. No big deal. I think it, uh, most of it I looked at was like 2013. So. Malt vinegar. Good for fish. It was 98 cents for a bottle. And here's uh, some uh, white wine vinegar. I think this was a buck and a half, though. There's a roll of cotton surgical gauze. 25 cents. The box is a little crumpled on one corner. It'll be fine for our preps. Oh, this was a good deal. Iodine. 99 cents. Can't beat that. That'll go on our uh, medical shelf. In the extended pantry. Lysine. That was a... Uh, 69 cents. More of the iodine. Pickles. Kitchen bouquet. Browning and seasoning sauce. You make brown gravy like a bunch of it with this jar. A dollar. A couple more spices. I think these jars were, uh, if I remember right, 50 cents. Basil leaves and oregano. See what else we get here. More visine, more visine. To you. Worcestershire sauce. That's a big bottle too. Dollar ninety-five. June of June thirtieth, twenty thirteen. So that'll get by. I don't think this stuff goes bad anyway, do you? Oh, after bite. This is that stuff you put on uh, after an insect bite or, uh, you know, mosquitoes or ants. Um, 75 cents, but it came with three uh, wipe pouches uh, free. Three wipes free. We'll put the wipes in our bug out bags and keep the tube in the, on the medicine shelf. And I guess that's it about for that. We also stopped by a antique store on the way back. This one will get you. I bought to, they had an empty set of spice bottles, glass tops. If you're into herbal medicines, 25 cents a jar. There's a dozen. Oh, we got some uh, instant iced tea. Makes uh, 28 quarts. How many gallons is that? You figure it out. Tell me in the comments. I'll know. I'll know by then. But uh, three bucks. And let's see what else we got here. That's those spice jars. We got a bunch of books at the antique store. This one really intrigued me. It's uh. The Fireside University Home Circle Study and Entertainment with Complete Indexes, published in 1898. Maybe I'll take pieces of this and turn them into books for our upcoming project. I'll do a video on that real soon. Electricity, the x-ray, meat, etc., coffee, tea compressed air, bread cakes and pastry, all kinds of weird stuff, spectroscope, fruit, nuts, spices, that would be a pretty interesting read. 
But it's, uh, how many pages? No. Well, looks like 535. The guy charged me $2 for it. There'll be a lot of prep information in there. Herbal Healthcare little booklets. Two of them. They were 25 cents a piece. And another one for 25 cents. Canning, freezing, storing garden produce. Probably get some tips out of it. Not bad for a quarter anyway. Uh, Mrs. Kohala loves a cookbook, so we got the Farm Journals Meal and Menu Planner Cookbook. So hopefully uh, we can find some uh, recipes in these things that will work with uh, produce from our garden. Another one. Thank heaven for homemade cooks. Same kind of deal. Ooh, a lot of recipes in that one. Home brewing without failures. How to make your own beer, ale, stout, and cider. You got two apple trees in the yard, so for 25 cents. And uh, possible barter future. That's a good buy for me. The Mother Earth News Handbook of Homemade Power. That's a good one. 374 pages. I bet there's a lot of stuff in there. And the Farm Journal's Cooking and Entertainment in America. Another good recipe book for maybe stuff that comes out of the garden and things. Well, we made some pretty good buys today, had a lot of fun. Just thought I'd share it with you. Remember this, we'll get through this.